Hey, this is a follow-up video for the technical team behind the editor at P5GS. And what I want to do here is explain how I implemented P5 live and uh, show you what uh, you might be able to do to integrate it in the official editor. So let's move my head a bit further down here. And let me start by uh, talking about what's happening on the left within the editor. So what I need to do is I need to detect each time we run the script, I want to send a signal to a server that then will be sent again to all the instances of the live sketches to tell them to reload. So the first thing I had to do is to detect if I'm running within the editor or not. And the way I did that is by using the location of href, which when we run it within the editor happens to return this string, which is different from the URL. So that's what tells me that I'm within the editor. And then I'm connecting to a socket IO saver that I've created. And I currently giving manually. So every person has to enter their username and their sketch ID. But this, if we integrate it in the editor, something that I'm sure can be fetched automatically. And then uh, when the sketch is run, we'll connect to the server and emit a reload message, uh, giving the username and the sketch ID. And so when we do that, what will happen is that the server will receive this information, will kind of find what are the people that are subscribed to this specific username and sketch ID, and send them a message to force the reload. Just to demonstrate that, as we did before, I'm just uh, going to change parameters of this ball and give it some speed. I'm going to save my sketch and press the play button. When I press the play button in the editor, everything is working perfectly. And then the page is being reloaded uh, on my live version of this sketch as expected. The way it works uh, on the live version is that it's when uh, somebody enters a URL like this, I get the username and the sketch ID and I populate it uh, within a template. And this template is composed of an iframe which loads the embedded version of our sketch here as it's exactly the same as your sharing uh, in the share uh, menu. And then uh, I connect the page again to the same socket IO. I give it the username and sketch ID and I subscribe to a room that will be a combination of the username and of the sketch ID. And then each time I receive a reload message as a web page, I simply reload the same uh, URL within the iframe, which forces the iframe to reload and, has, um, and, and just generate the P5 live demo. Um, one thing, however, that currently is a bit lacking is that if we change something in the editor but do not save the file and press play, the changes will appear in the editor. But obviously, when the page here is being reloaded, it, because these changes have not been saved, it reloads the last version. So we have this discrepancy between what we see in the editor and what is shown above, which in a way is good because we want to be able to play around before pushing and releasing or changing to all the live instances. But it has, we need a mechanism to make it more explicit. What I would suggest maybe is to add a third button or a third option that could be called deploy or upload or deploy live, which will implement this mechanism of forcing a reload from all the live version. If that's something the P5 team is interested about, I would be really happy to, to help uh, doing that because I see quite a lot of interesting use cases in art installation where screens are remote or hard to access, could be on the ceiling, could be behind protected glasses, and we might want to develop on those platform without having to reload them all the time by having a physical access to them. I hope that was helpful and will be uh, useful to the P5GS community. Thank you.